All right, welcome back. Happening today, crews out on the Capitol Mall have been setting up for the fifth annual Farm to Fork Festival. This is some new video of the crews out there early working today. That free event showcases more than 100 restaurants, farms, and ranches. You will also find lots of local wine, beer, cooking demonstrations, and live music. And today we're getting a little bit of a, a preview here on our patio of some of what you'll get to enjoy out there. Patty Mastraco is here taking a look at some recipes that she created using Almond Breeze almond milk and a lot of people think of these kinds of products um, it's something maybe you add into your cereal right. or maybe into your coffee if you or need a little splash of that's smoothie. what everybody says I use it all the time or I cook with it all the time I put it in my smoothies yeah so but it's that's like, not really no, 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 no. <laughs> that's not full-on cooking we are going to expand things a little bit <laughs> okay, for you great. so what do you yeah. need to know though when you're using something like an almond breeze in you terms know, of how it tends to react with other foods pretty much cup for cup Any, okay. anything that calls for a cup of dairy milk or half cup substitute the same amount okay. of almond breeze Just just know that if you're using something that's a sweetened variety, you might want to cut back on the sugar in your recipe a little bit. Okay. And uh, with baked goods, you might just check the, uh, sometimes it cooks a tiny bit faster, but other than that, you're pretty, pretty much good. Cooking um, as a chemistry. Cooking it, yeah. Uh, since there is no butter fat, um, when you're using something that needs to thicken, like this custard that I'm making, uh, maybe add a little bit more cornstarch or flour or okay, whatever so your thickening agent is. Okay, this is the custard right here. Yeah, so, um, you know, we are going to be at Farm to Fork, mm -hmm. which is awesome. Don't and want to this up for you. Yeah, go for Please, it. So, to work. so we are going to be, uh, um, serving several different things and one of them is um, this key lime pie and what this was is this was one of the favorite things at our farm um, homegrown goodness tour okay. as I said we're crossing crisscrossing the country and I've created recipes for all these cities that we're going to and this is one of the favorites so Custard is usually really intimidating for people. You see, you're on a big people. tour. On this big tour, you're yeah. You're on a cooking tour? How cool. We did. Uh, Miami, Chicago, Dallas. We're headed to Atlanta and New York next what month. What cities surprised you when you brought out your California cooking? Um, I think Texas, because I made chili with almond breeze. You made and a chili in I made a Texas? vegetarian what chili. What a brave Californian you are. And the Texans are. loved it, let me tell you. They'll tell you if they don't, Exactly. Too. So custard's usually really hard because um, it can be tricky. You, mm -hmm. you usually mix your sugar and your eggs, and then you heat your milk, and you really Really carefully pour it in and whisk, 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 yeah. so that you don't cook your eggs. Can I tell you, this doesn't look like it's turning into anything right now. Okay, you know what? I just so I took sugar, the corn, I took all my ingredients, the key lime juice, mm -hmm. the, the vanilla almond breeze. I'm gonna whisk it really well, and then I'm gonna put it on the stove top. Okay. Cook it really slowly, and it's gonna turn into so this. So this gotta be on like rate. super low, right? Super low, and just keep whisking. I love these um, silicone whisks because they get in the, all the corners of the uh, pans. Yeah. But yep, just give it a really good whisk, okay. and then turn it on, and this is what it turns into. This lovely wow. key lime. Pie. It's beautiful. And I gave it a California almond topping, and it's made with um, graham cracker crust and some almonds and cinnamon and brown sugar, and then you can give it a little lime zest nice. at the end. So we're also going to be serving our sacra tomato polenta bites. Okay. And instead of just a vegetable broth in the polenta, I used half vegetable broth and half the original unsweetened almond breeze. Huh. So um, you can change the recipe up a little bit and add a little Parmesan. I dusted it with a little Parmesan. But it's so are you actually then serving some of these things out there at we the festival? We are, you yeah. Are. How yep. many are you told to prepare if you're one of the people exhibited at this thing? About 5,000 samples. Get out. Are yes. you serious? 5,000? Lots and lots of samples, yeah. So you have to have all of that prepared, yeah. stored, refrigerated, all of that yep. before you go in. Yes, yeah. So we're going to be we're gonna have the key lime pie. and then You're like, you do more than the lady at Costco. Uh, well, I don't make it all, let me tell you. <laughs> you know what I mean? It I've made a lot. It out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, so. that sounds like a lot of fun. At least the weather's going to be absolutely perfect for this as well. Yeah. For people heading down there. Definitely, definitely. So, and we just want people to know that it is good to cook with almond breeze and come just on need out. To and, know, and know the chemistry before you start doing the cooking. The Farm exactly. to Fork Festival will go from 11 a.m. until 6 p.m. tomorrow on Capitol Mall. So, 